Welcome to Owls Gaming and Tutorial YouTube channel. How to restrict Canvas students from copying and downloading your files. There are two ways to restrict others from copying the texts of your files. One is to protect your PDF by using PDF editors like Adobe Acrobat. If you have an Adobe Acrobat, open your PDF file with it. Click Tools. In the Protect and Standardize, look for Protect, the one with shield icon. Click its drop-down menu and click Open. In the Advanced Options, select Encrypt with Password. If there is a pop-up window that asks you if you want to change the security of your document, just click Yes. In the Permissions Options, tick the Restrict Editing and Printing of the document. Enter the password and change permissions password. Then click OK. If there is a dialog box that pops out, just click OK. Enter the password you set a while ago, and click OK. Again, if there is a dialog box that pops out, just click OK. Save your PDF. If you don't have a PDF editor, the other way to protect others from copying your text is to use PowerPoint. If you are protecting a PowerPoint presentation from being copied, open your PowerPoint file. Click File and select Save As. Choose the folder where you want to save it. In the Save As type, choose JPEG or PNG and click Save. Then click All Slides. A pop-up window that tells you where the images are saved will open. Click OK. Create a new blank PowerPoint presentation by clicking File, New, and Blank Presentation. Duplicate Slide 1. The number of slides should be the same with the number of slides of your original PowerPoint. You can use F4 in your keyboard to repeat your previous action. Go back to your Slide 1. Click Insert, then Pictures. Choose, this device and look for the slide saved as images a while ago. Select slide 1 and click insert. Go to your slide 2, click insert, then pictures. Choose, this device, select slide 2, and click insert. Repeat the process until you have inserted all the slides. Note that you can use F4 in your keyboard to repeat your previous action. After inserting all slides, click File, and Save As. Choose the folder where you want to save it. In the Save As type, choose PDF, then click Save. You can also do this with your Word document. Create a new PowerPoint presentation by going to File, New, and click Blank Presentation. Go to Design, Slide Size, and Custom Slide Size. Choose the size of your Word document. Choose the layout of your document, whether it is in Portrait of Landscape, then click OK. Click Maximize. Duplicate Slide 1 according to the number of pages of your document. Open your Word document. Copy the text of page 1. Go to your PowerPoint. In Slide 1, right-click. In the Paste option, choose Picture. Do this for the rest of the pages. Note, that you should do this by page. Then, go to File, Save As, and choose the folder where you want to save it. In the Save As type, choose JPEG or PNG and click Save. Then click All Slides. A pop-up window that tells you where the images are saved will open. Click OK. In the PowerPoint presentation, delete the contents of all the slides. Go back to your Slide 1. Click Insert, then Pictures. Choose, This device and look for the slides saved as images a while ago. 
Select Slide 1 and click Insert. Go to your Slide 2, click Insert, then, Pictures. Choose this device, select Slide 2 and click Insert. Repeat the process until you have inserted all the slides. After inserting all slides, click File and Save As. Choose the folder where you want to save it. In the Save As type, choose PDF, then click Save. After you have made your PDF files, you can now share them to your Canvas students. To restrict them from downloading your files, you need to upload these files to your Google Drive and embed them in your Canvas. To do this, open the folder in your Google Drive where you want to save your PDF file. Once uploaded, right-click it and choose Share. In the Get Link dialog box, click Change to anyone with the link. Then, click Done. Double-click your PDF file to open it. At the upper right, click the Kebab menu, and select Open in a new window. A new tab or window will open. At the upper right, click the kebab menu and choose Embed Item. A dialog box with an embed code will open. Copy it. Go to your Canvas and Pages. Create a new page. Click the HTML editor icon. Paste the embed code. Change the value of the width and height if you want to. To prevent your Canvas students from clicking the pop-out button and go to the link of your file, insert the sandbox script before the greater than symbol of the iframe. I put this sandbox script at the description. Click the HTML editor icon again to preview your page. Then, click Save and Publish, or Save. Now you have a file, shared or embedded in your Canvas, that cannot be copied and downloaded by your students. But of course, they can always take a screenshot of this. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.